spirulina is a live food you yes, know and true. many there's a many live food but nowadays the nowadays generation mostly it's very saddening but it is true that they are eating dead food yes. <laughs> you know they so they when you are eating dead food processed food what you are expecting a good skin <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Sky Show and today it's me Dr. Roland here and I have Hema, a wellness enthusiast from Singapore. Yes. Hema, thank you so much for coming all the way My to Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> My uh, just a quick brief, we got in touch on uh, Instagram, right? Yes, it was so nice. Thanks uh, Dr. Nath for inviting me over here and yes, we just met through Instagram. I saw him, yeah, you know, with some spirulina things and all that, and I got in touch with him. Okay. And very kindly, he invited me for uh, this. Uh, my podcast. pleasure. My pleasure. It is my pleasure because he's a, another enthusiast, uh, wellness enthusiast, Thank you. which I love too because I resonate with something which is done na naturally. So how did how how did how did spirulina catch your eye? <laughs> because you know, I am already doing uh, uh, spirulina farming back in my country. And uh, now, is it India? In India, right? Yeah, is it? It's in India with partnership with my two friends, uh, Pondicherry and Andhra Pradesh. Nice. And uh, yeah, we are doing it. Uh, you know, just but I have still realized that people think it's a medicine, whereas spirulina is a complete food. Exactly. So when I got the opportunity through you, all thanks to you, that I visited one of the farm. This French guy, Mr. Um, Wahid. Wahid. Yeah, in KL. There's a, there's a farm in KL. Yes, in the KL. This is a big, huge farm. He's, I think, one of a kind uh, because there's only four farms. That's what he said in the world, which is specialized and done by the French people. And hmm. uh, he was he's one, one of them. It. Yes, he's one of them. Nice. It. And he's doing it very passionately. He's like, he shared the same passion I share with, you know. And he was talking so high about uh, you also, Dr. Renard, that you, how you helped him, uh, how you helped him to, you know, spread his world. Yeah, because I think, I think when, when we look into like, like food is medicine, mm -hmm. I think one thing we need to know is like knowing the, the farmers, mm -hmm. knowing the farmers around that we actually can, can trust and we actually get to see how they do it. Exactly. Because sometimes we, we always get into this thing that we just buy products yes. out of the market. But yes. when we when we actually experience it firsthand, and then we know like, okay, what's the process? Yeah. How tedious is it? And yes. stuff like that. But how, I want to ask you, how did this journey mm -hmm. uh, in terms of your online presence into, into media and wellness begin? Begin? <laughs> okay. So my journey actually, I, will, I live in Singapore, I'm based in Singapore right now and from 15 years I'm like based there, I was in education line and uh, you know while education line I just used to take on and off some breaks. So I used to volunteer in my one of the this mental health organization which is just across my house. In so, Singapore? In Singapore. So there I used to volunteer and uh, while I volunteer for 5-6 years, so in between the schools I used to take break and I used to do this. So then they, uh, uh, this um, CEO of uh, this Brahm Centre, uh, Angie Chu, she, she told me that Hema we will need you full time. So she hired me and we, I started working there full time and this was a time during Corona time. Mm. So as I joined, it, everything shut down because of Corona, you know, so I was there as a pro program leader and uh, because now we cannot interact and we cannot uh, see, physically. see physically or conduct classes like that. So then they have shifted everything online. So then she requested me, Emma, can you make online videos, exercise videos because she knows that, you know, I'm very uh, wellness free, can dance free, can, mm. you know, so in, in a dance form, in Bollywood dance form, how you can like make them people exercise and, you know, do some physical exercise, which was very needed that time when they were all indoor and no, yes. no outdoor activities were all shut down. So during that time only I just start self started learning about this videos, how to make videos and how to yeah. So because that was uh, every day I used to release 45 minutes of video and we used to put it in our Facebook uh, page. Okay. So that that's how my learning towards this media and then during that time only I opened my Insta page and there 
uh, initially dr ronaldo i had no idea about what is this instagram is all about so then i initially slowly 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 started learning that oh this is a bigger platform where we can actually not only just teach 20 people here or 20, 10 people here but we can like you know thousand thousand million people actually you know and once you're so i how i started with my jal niti uh, video jal niti is a cleansing process so and as i put that it just got viral and there was like millions of views on that you know so that's how i got suddenly you know and then i got this idea that yes i need to touch every person you know so initially also i used to do when we are teaching you are every you know you are in any way you are sharing your knowledge you're learning from kids also i am ready to learn but when you start doing it in a bigger platform then you get this key yes you want to give this goodness to everyone True. not to keep your to yourself only and during that time only i was like working towards my spirulina but that time i never thought that i want to uh, st uh, you know get into too deep and start my own brand also or okay, so now it's interesting because i think that you have been a teacher all the time <laughs> no, I, I have been a learner all the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> teaching. In, yeah. In, in, because you saw that the, the, the teaching mm -hmm. element, and then you try to fuse it together with mm -hmm. with the online the on, online presence. Yeah. So currently, currently, uh, what are you doing in, in Singapore in terms of? Uh, just, is it just only on the social, or it's also less? There's a meeting, there's face-to-face -face teaching. Yes, I am conducting many workshops. I conduct uh, boot camps for kids for elderly, for even office like uh, this corporate corporate friends yeah because the, i feel they are so busy in their uh, lives nowadays they don't get a time to even uh, you know heal themselves so i conduct this boot camp is basically with the kids is my uh, intention and my motive is so that i can introduce these kind of a simple habits learnings you know simple exercises yoga techniques I introduce them to, to them so that it can heal them for life right. to the little kids because little kids they are like a blotting papers you know if you tell them uh, they catch like anything very you know fast. yeah very fast uh, so uh, lately I have conducted many workshops for the kids so where I used to introduce cooking classes also like you know we make something very uh, you know the kind of a food which like normally kids they go for burgers and pizzas and all that so i make them do learn something like uh, chila chila is like something you know it's a kind of a pancake made of a reddish we have a ragi atta on it mm. and then convert it into a nice pizza and spread some cheese and then put some spirulina uh, powder on it and then make them taste you know and then the kids after the camp they are like going home and they saying mama we want that you know so that's my achievement i feel that you know when they are eating something healthy and they want that yeah i think it's always about the education when when we exactly are able to mold the younger generation to learn how to eat healthy at the same time it has yeah the a nice taste to their palate yes immediately they want to bring back like i want to go for that what that auntie told you how to cook yes exactly <laughs> so now after like that camp then i have conducted i have to conduct the you know uh, boot camp for the mummies to teach that thing so mm. that they can make for their, <laughs> their parents nice. so it's going like that and with the corporate uh, like you know all the simples uh, like mewing or how you can do breathing exercise so i teach all that things and then of course sustainable fashion is also my kind of a a parallel niche i'm very passionate about being sustainable and i keep endorsing that and promoting that so at present uh, also many i do many collaborations with the big brands so there's a japanese brands and there's a in korean singapore, brands singapore. in singapore yeah so they come and i collaborate with them be it their um, skin care products which 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 you know which definitely should be uh, organic natural so I try to help them also to promote that nice. also so those I, kind I of. I, I want to I want to ask you a bit further about this. Mm -hmm. uh, when it when we look into clothing, they, mm. they they've been saying about like use natural, use like cotton, mm. try to reduce plastic, polyester. Yes. Yeah. Is there any 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 truth about this and and maybe through your experience with with fashion also wearing them? Yes. Do you do do people get? A difference of benefit 
oh of course yeah they can and I, I i introduce many other ways also you know like you can swipe your clothes with your family members you know and uh, you should reuse it re restyle your things in a different ways you know but nowadays i think big celebrities back in india also now karina kapoor i don't know whether you know or um, all these ladies they are wearing their mothers sarees you know so now it is becoming in so i'm very happy about it we have been doing it from ages like you know i have three sisters and we swap clothes you know one of my sister stays in other state and other stays in uh, uk but we you know swipe clothes among each other so this is very good way we are doing a bit so the bit is recycling very in recycling way. in a very good way and then dressing it you know in a mix and match different way so dr naru now you tell me also something about you okay, <laughs> how so, you are this so, uh, so so i i think i think whatever i feel i feel what you're doing i think mm -hmm. there's a lot of uh, connection that you do you try to bring the element of movement yes size yeah and and, and styling some for create some form of energy Yes, because, because I feel that gives confidence also, you know, because that is a lot to do with the confidence. You know, when the people they wear something new, something good, they feel very confident. You know, so yeah. that. Yeah, and in fact, in fact, sometimes there is also the element of vintage there. Yes. Like mentioned like going back to like restyle using old old stuff. Yes. But, and I, I have something very interesting. I believe is there is some form of memory imprint in these things. Yes, and, and few things. Yeah, you feel you 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 wear something like you you just like embody mm. that energy. Yes, and that's very important. I, I give you an example of that. Just a couple of days back, I was wearing my mother's fifty-year-old sari. Fifty-year-old, mm. but sari never go goes out of fashion, you know. But I wear it with a different combination of blouses, and it was like you know. And then you feel the warmth of your mother, and you feel that yes, she's with you. Although you are staying, you know, uh, wow. abroad, and you know, so yeah, I, what you are saying, I totally resonate, and I feel many people they can. But nowadays, fast fashion is like yeah, because the fast fashion is just trying to be just in trend, in trend, in trend all the time. Every day, yeah. Yeah, so, but they don't want to create their own persona or their own character. Yes, yeah. Character. And I think the next thing I will also say is like the the food. Hmm. The food that 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 food is the food is the main form of medicine. The food yeah, is exactly. the main form of nourishment, therapy, and everything. And hmm. I think fast-moving societies, hmm. especially like in Singapore hmm. and big cities like Kuala Lumpur. Yes, they have all. It's always on the go. Let's just buy something on the road, eat before we get into the MRT, and then yes. get back home, and we don't have to wash or clean everything. Hmm. Just dump it in the dumpster, and then we're done. But They are ev they are eating everything packed, packed, and you know yesterday with uh, Doc, uh, Mr. Wahid also I was having this conversation. Uh, he was saying spirulina is a live food, you yes, know, and so. many there's a many live food, but nowadays the nowadays generation mostly it's very saddening, but it is true that they are eating dead food, yes. <laughs> you know. They so when you are eating dead food, processed food. What you are expecting? A good skin? No. <laughs> no. A good eyesight? Yeah. No. You in know. Fact, in fact, in fact, yeah, absolutely right. See, those days when 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 people had homes, they almost had like a mini garden where they, the moms can just go and just pluck up yes. vegetables and wow, and that the chilies yeah. <laughs> back door and then like they immediately cook. So yeah, those food is like a live food. Yes, and, and that will you give you. Any unwanted thing, whether yes. they're using normal natural mayo mm. or anything, mm. they have always like had a lot of process. Even whether they were growing fish or they're growing cattle, yes. or milk, it's like look, yeah. the cows behind my house. Yes, kind of <laughs> it's a totally kind of mm. thing. But unfortunately, as we progress, mm. we was we are so digitalized in our world. Yes, it's just yeah, laptop and phone communications and mm. machines and robots. Okay. So so, and we are all. All living up, up. Going yes, up. going up, but then everything is you know deteriorating, and uh, health is going down, and we are only living up, but the health is going down. <laughs> health is going down. So, so, so when when mm. when when that happens, it's it's I realize it's a bigger challenge in cities mm -hmm. than than those people who are living in countryside. Country, countryside. Ah, so yes. I was I was. Uh, Mm. Just a week ago, I was like traveling. We've been doing these workshops around the whole of Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So we went to like Borneo, Sarawak, mm -hmm. and Sabah. Mm -hmm. We went to Johor okay. in uh, in June. Mm -hmm. Then we went to Alostar. This is north, 
northern region kita okay then we went to the east coast kelantan and tengganu okay so yeah. all over the kuala lumpur only or no, no, uh, out of kuala lumpur out of the uh, continent almost the borders of thailand and okay and okay and and, mm. and i really like traveling with us the people out of kuala lumpur have so much of land they mm. have like a paddy field just outside of the house mm mm-hmm. mhm that they can see that and then they have like like ponds fish ponds mm. lands for them to agri to aggregate mm. and 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 plant fruits or they have to like farming and all and they just a small house there mm. and they have an acre of gardens they got durian and all of this and then like mm. only people in the cities mm mm-hmm. are not blessed with us no they are deprived <laughs> deprived they deprived but we think that the high fashion the big cars mm. and and the the no. high dining culture mm. is nourishment yeah. but actually like when you mentioned this like sometimes there's going to be a lot of the physicality the mentally the emotion the mm. food the your ability to ground and do the exercise in yes. all of these things so yes. so when you mm. ask me like what what i do me being a mainstream doctor mm. we do look into a lot of preventive medicine mm-hmm. we look into the body mind and spirit three elements balance very yeah important mm. that we need to to understand mm. to get that health peace wholesome health yes so of course in practice people coming to do their their routine medical checkups and mm. and their hormonal analysis mm. their nutritional discussion i would tell them is like look uh If you are the Formula One driver, mm-hmm. I'm the engineer. We need to make sure that you can race mm-hmm. and win the race, yeah. not crash somewhere. Crash somewhere <laughs> with the tire ruptured uh-huh. or you ran out of fuel. Mm. So it is in order to to go to that position. You have to work harmony. We are not, we are not the towing mm. guys. Mm. Don't think doctors are the towing guys. Yeah. We now have to move to a phase that we need to do preventive medicine. So mm. if it's not preventive medicine mm. then we are only always trying to fix you with a drug mm. with a tablet the medicine yeah put a screw here a bandaid there mm. and that's not healthcare. that's not that's the permanent yeah that's, that's a temporary care. that's a sick care mm. sick care yes sick care. so so mm. we're trying to do that uh, in, in in malaysia so we're trying to reach out as many people as we can mm. through our social media to our contacts because you see if you're a physician maybe mm. yourself as a, as, a, as a coach or a lifestyle enthusiast say like mm. we can reach a certain number of people maybe have access will be near to them mm-hmm. but for those people are really far mm. maybe let our knowledge go there yes maybe they can seek another physician which is nearer to them or mm. maybe but at least let our mm. at least let our knowledge let they have a, allow yeah. them to think the awareness yeah awareness, yes create the the implant mm. the awareness of of health mm. very nice i think i you are also doing beautiful job and my all support to you any where you need it yeah this is very good because i know if we change even one mind you know it multiplies you know true true yeah. i think I, th- i think that's that's the that's the seeding process mm, i think uh, the, the, the world has is is has changed a lot after the the pandemic yes the way people people are a bit more serious of of help Yeah. After after the pandemic, yes. I mean, they, there's a lot of things that mm. people start to actualize. Mm. Uh, they realize they yeah. just cannot take their health. Problem. And people have realized this world of immunity. You know, before maybe they were like ignoring this immunity that they have to keep the immunity strong. So immunity can be only strong when you are following the natural ways and going with the nature. You know, Correct. if you're going against the nature, definitely you will be treating the illness, sickness oh. all the time. Yeah. Yeah, and, and in fact, in fact, the 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 main you see in in you mention about immunity is like almost like a defense mechanism of the body. It's like yeah. like your army mm. is within cannot you. Be, cannot be just sitting down yeah. in the camp and just hoping for the and en- when the enemy comes, they come. No, they are constantly in working. Yes, <laughs> constantly in training because if there's yes. any attack, we are ready. Ready, we are able to deploy. So yeah. I always say, never send your army men without their shoes polished. They always have to be trained. That's yes. Always. They should always be in a. Yeah, and and you coming mm. coming from a military background. <laughs> Can relate. You know very well. So yes. It's mm. understanding that understanding that that mm. the complexes of it's not just the food, it's the mm. movement, it's the exercise. You allow. Yeah, it's a combination right? of everything. Even sleep. You know, people. I I nowadays they are so much like I want to do work, work, work. they neglecting their sleep they don't know sleep is a 
you know it's like it's healing you yeah it is the therapy it is it is a medicine actually if you don't sleep 8 hours 9 hours you are not healing your body you know so they don't realize that Very and they are popping pills to do that that won't do the, that that major they, work yeah they, they are all their netflix and amazon for them to yes. watch at <laughs> night night yeah they are covering oh, all until those the, until the netflix watches them then they are asleep <laughs> yes all of this happening. but but i think i think mm. uh, whatever you are doing mm. uh, i think you are doing great likewise it's yeah. going to maybe it's going to spread to maybe mm. further further regions thank you so much for yeah. going to to, mm. to do that and, and i think this is this is sort of like a, a huge movement today because yes. we cannot depend on just like the healthcare system itself mm. to to do this because mm. uh, they are overburdened they are burdened also and i feel they have targets to achieve you know they have to distribute lot of medicines exactly. it's a drug is a drug industry in drug and in industry so everybody have to take care of themselves be aware do little bit for yourself and then you see the change and then you can just you know i i feel personally when the mother of a house or a you know lady of the house is well aware of all these small little practices then they can implement it at home and when one house is healthy then you know it just multiplies correct you know the children learn yes they they only learn to be healthy so yeah they only learn by watching the kids they will only what i am doing my kid will watch me and then they will do it yeah. they will not do uh, learn from the some preachings or some videos or something but they learn only by yeah. when you are doing it yeah. for example like i used to do oil pulling very regularly so my son used to watch me doing it so he also practice that you know how often pulling. would you do the oil pulling oil pulling i do every day every day every day and yeah. what what would you use i use uh, sesame oil okay yeah so i put a little bit of cloves in it because okay. clove is very nice for your that uh, you know that so i crushed 10 or 15 cloves i put it in my 10 sesame 15 cloves cloves okay. and put it in my 1 liter or a half a liter of a bottle of sesame oil okay. so i it st- keep diffusing you know the essence and then i just take 1 teaspoon of uh, um, sesame oil early in the morning and i just keep squishing and with that i go for my walk okay and then yeah. you don't you don't you don't you don't how long would it so we do it for 20 minutes this uh, squishing thing and then this thing not only takes care of my gums uh, my teeth my uh, the you know uh, uh, oral hygiene but also take care of my gut so okay. it cleans your gut also they say that when this we are doing this movement so your from your gut all the unhealthy bacteria they pulled out as a form of a lump of a, you know this mucus or something and then at the end of 20 minutes you just spit it out okay. and then do a little gargling or just uh, so can can we use any other oil or only we can use coconut oil we can use any oil which is good to your palate but sesame oil is very good for your gums okay for your teeth yeah so avocado oil also my husband does it sometime with the avocado oil also okay the purpose is do you do it with the oil so that that process what i am saying a gut cleansing process happens and it's good for your uh, teeth also oh, nice. anything else we like to share to us before we wrap up i think uh, you are doing great job and i think we should do something together uh, you are conducting some workshops right yeah we been we been conducting uh, a series of workshop across the whole country and what so topics you do like so, so mutually the next the next three more workshop one is going to be in penang okay ipo and then or that's going to be in september Mm-hmm. and then the big one in we be like doing like a like a conference like that mm-hmm. in october 12th and 13th in kuala lumpur so what topics we'll be talking about during our uh, talk is more towards uh, food okay how they destroy the food mm mm-hmm. uh, some myths about cholesterol okay we need to understand the reason so consume good fat mm mm-hmm. uh, i'll be talking about antioxidants Mm-hmm. Uh, how you need to choose your antioxidants what is necessary what is not necessary for okay. each individual you need to understand that mm-hmm. uh, i've been talking a very interesting topic about hormone disruption okay mm-hmm. how because of strong antibiotics mm-hmm. a lot of uh, hormones being used in perfume yeah i was just about to yeah because i've heard this very so, recently yeah and it's when you apply our our reproductive hormones. health our mm-hmm. hormones thyroid mm-hmm. the adrenal glands mm. and then people are becoming very stressed fatigue tired mm. and also other other new kinds of therapies like how is stem cells going to be the future 
how okay. is peptide protein therapy is going to be coming in, in the mm-hmm. future and also one one big topic is movement mm-hmm. and okay. immunity movement how, is medicine i always how, say that how, mm-hmm. how they destroyed us during the pandemic with the mm-hmm. immune system mm-hmm. got worse mm-hmm. and how we need to make sure that we maintain a good immune system so that mm-hmm. we protect ourselves when the immune system is good we protect ourselves from issues like cancer mm-hmm. uh, viral infection bacterial infection so okay. you get minimum risk but again it's not just a silver bullet that's going to fix everything mm, it's a it holistic is, it's approach it's a holistic mm. approach it's a collective approach yes. and it's not just also me myself mm. it's going to be you your family your com- community your country it's all have to come together yes because if one person is strong mm. and there are 99 weak we people out there can't do anything yes it's still mm. penetrable for a strong country strong individual is needed yeah exactly. that's very true okay. so once again thank you so much for coming today mm, thank I you will, so much for I will <laughs> definitely see you again mm. we'll definitely see each other online maybe i will make my visit to singapore sometime please yes soon. i think yes okay. so mm. any 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 messages from me to your to your fans in malaysia or all around the world just stay happy stay healthy be aware of uh, you know your health don't neglect yourself and approach should be holistic as what we say you know everything should be in balance mind body and spirit <laughs> okay so until okay. next time thank you so much for watching the sky show till we meet again bye